Welcome to our session on how to get ready for transfer with Dakota County Technical College and we have a number of different universities and their transfer representatives here today to share information. This is the fall semester of 2020 and this is current information as of this point and we're just going to get started with UW Stout admissions team. Hi all. Um, thanks very much, Jessica, for having us. I'm excited to be here to talk to you a little bit more about Stout. So I'll just go ahead and share a couple quick slides that I have prepared. Um, and let's see. I can get that to work. There we go. So <clears throat> UW Stout is Wisconsin's Polytechnic University. Um, and so I'll just touch on that really briefly and share a couple other things um, about Stout with you. So the um, we are located in Menominee, Wisconsin, which is a town of about 17,000 and it's about an hour east of St. Paul, an hour and 15 east of, uh, of St. Paul, Minneapolis. Um, we have a vibrant community um, here in Menominee and we really embrace this polytechnic difference about our University of Wisconsin school. So what that basically means is we are, uh, our students curriculum is based on the polytechnic model. Um, about 3% three, 3 of schools in the nation have that polytechnic model. Um, schools such as MIT or Virginia Tech, um, Michigan Tech is another example, um, Cal Poly. And it is basically a combination of applied learning and liberal arts education. So students who learn really well with their hands or, or learn by doing and kind of um, unpacking things and see how they work, Stout might be a great option for them. We have uh, nearly 50 unique majors, which you can see here. Um, and some of them um, are unique to the UW system. Some of them are uh, unique to just a few different schools nationwide. Um, our plastics engineering program is only offered at a few schools in the entire country. We're internationally known for our School of Hospitality, our Hotel Restaurant Tourism Management Program, um, and our School of Hospitality has ranked in the top 10 schools um, internationally for, for quite a few years now. Um, we're well known for our Bachelor in Fine Arts programs, our uh, really unique um, and competitive en uh, engineering and education programs, um, and then some additional programs that really take that polytechnic vision um, and apply it. And you'll see that it, present in, in all of our different majors. A little bit of information about Stout. I, I mentioned we were in the town of Menominee, um, Wisconsin. We have about 8,400 students. We do have a graduate school. Um, so you'll see about 15% of our population is, um, is graduate students. We also have 13 completely online majors and this is at, at the undergraduate level. Um, those are really built in many ways as degree completion programs. Um, our most popular are management, career and technical education and training and our information and communication technologies programs. Those work really great with students who are pursuing an associate's degree um, from DCTC or um, and the Associate of Science, um, and then just want to sort of finish up their bachelor's degree. We have um, great relationships and partnerships with DCTC for students to be able to do that. Um, because we are a polytechnic institution, uh, students are digging in and kind of getting that hands-on education and learning um, in, in each of their classrooms, but also in our labs. We have three times as many labs on campus as we do classrooms um, to, facilitate, to facilitate that kind of research. Um, and then about a third of our transfer our students at Stout are transfer students each year. I'm included a tuition breakdown here for you to review. Um, Minnesota residents will be paying approximately $337 per credit. Um, that's based, this total number is based on 30 credits per year. Um, and then keeping in mind that tuition fees also includes our East Out laptop program, which is a laptop that students receive when they come to campus. Um, and uh, it is theirs to use 24-7, 365, as long as they're full-time enrolled students. And that is renewable after two years. It's also stocked with quite a bit of um, software that's relevant to their programs. And then we also rent our textbooks rather than purchase them. So that is also included already in the cost that you'll see here. 
Um, and then a little bit of insight about how to apply. So we look, um, we do a comprehensive review. We're gonna take a lot of things into consideration, not just um, a certain GPA or a certain test score. We look for a 2.0 GPA for uh, most of our majors, 2.75 for our education majors. Um, and then we will need uh, the current application fee, the application high school transcript with graduation date and official college transcripts. And then just to note that we are running in a uh, no application fee week um, until the 31st of October. So students can apply for free until then. And I think that might be, yeah, that might be my whole uh, sort of spiel here, but um, I, any other questions, um, I will put my information in the chat and they can easily reach out to me. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you more. Thank you. Thank you. We've been joined by Marky from DCTC, our advisor in the area for the individualized studies. But let's go on to another university's presentation. I can go next if you would like. Great. Hi, all. I'm Cheryl Cox. I'm with St. Mary's University of Minnesota at our Twin Cities campus at 2500 Park. Um, if some of you are interested in the traditional I call it the traditional residential, you want to live in a dorm, um, I can put you in contact with someone down at our Winona campus. But up here in the Twin Cities, we uh, have bachelor's completion degrees. Think about it in terms of, oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> think about it in terms of in a traditional, thank you, uh, four-year college. You do your first two years at DCTC, get all your gen eds done, and I'm sure my colleagues will agree with me, goal six, get the goal six done. <laughs> and then the, the rest we can work with you. And we are, we are, as I said, in Minneapolis, we're down in Rochester. And we are now also, we have many of our degrees completely online. Um, at some point in time, we could go back to traditional uh, delivery one night a week, 5.30 until 9.40, but as we all know with COVID, who knows? So for right now, all of our programs are completely online. You advance, please. Now, what we will do for you is um, we can do a, with a transfer challenge, which means if you're just starting your program at DCTC or you're almost done, you can send me your unofficial transcripts, your academic record, and I will do a preliminary degree plan for you to show how these credits will transfer uh, to a particular program. We have, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm sorry. Um, so what I will do is I'll show, like I said, the, this roadmap to success to show how your credits will transfer. Next, please. Now we need a minimum of 30 college credits. Um, your college composition class will be sure to take that, take a C or better. And again, your DCTC classes are solid. I mean, I love doing degree plans for you guys because it's so easy because the courses fit right in. And we also follow the Minnesota transfer curriculum. And you will see in this preliminary degree plan where, let's just say the boxes are filled in so that you can see what it is that you need to do. And again, we can do that uh, as you're starting the program halfway through, if you just want to see, you know, where things fit. And technically, I can't advise you until you're an admitted St. Mary student, but I can strongly suggest. And then I also say, check with your advisor, your academic advisor. You can see our majors. And, and again, for right now, you know, everything is, everything is online. Um, we have the professional programs here. We have your IT, business administration, uh, nursing, you will need an RN. Uh, public health is a biggie these days. And again, most of our classes start uh, either around Labor Day or middle of October, January, the end of March, or May and right around 4th of July. So we have six times that you could start. So uh, again, just find out a time. If you're not sure, you think, you know, let me just see how the timing works. 
shoot me an email, give me a call. Again, my contact information is there also. So just let me know what we need to do to help you complete that bachelor's degree. Next. Thank you for advancing these two, Jessica. Appreciate it. So um, my colleague Molly is down in the Rochester area. And then uh, Sherry and Nicole and I are in the Twin Cities. And we are happy to visit with you. Um, we're very affordable. Our tuition is 420 a credit hour. So as one of our program directors says, you can complete your bachelor's degree. Consider it the cost of a really good used car or a not so good a new car. We will work with you on that. So hope to hear from you. Thanks so much. Thank you. And of course, with all of our universities, depending on where they are and uh, located, meaning different states and different criteria, could be that financial aid packages could be pretty uh, good for people also as funding sources, correct? Good. All right. Who would like to go next? I can go ahead and share. And then I was going to um, ask that everybody do what we had Molly do and just add in your contact information and if you have some um, links that you would like people to access. This will be accessible, our chat, when the recording is provided to people. Thanks. Great. Hi everyone, my name is Audrey and I am with MSU Moorhead. So we are a four year institution within the Minnesota state system. So we follow the Minnesota transfer curriculum and things like that. These are just some of our quick facts about MSUM. Um, so our student faculty ratio, all of our classes are taught by faculty, which is great even with our online courses. And then our student population is right around 5,000. So we have, um, these are some of our points of pride. We have over 70 majors, so there are a lot of different programs to pick from. Um, we do have seven degrees that are those completion degrees that are offered online. So if you're hoping to stay in the Twin Cities, complete a program online, we have a lot of different options and I'll, I list them on the next slide. Um, we also just have award-winning faculty. We have a lot of faculty have received um, Carnegie Professor of the Year awards. So we're very proud of that. Um, and then also we have those quality and unique programs. So our next slide really just highlights some of our degrees. Again, this isn't all of them, um, but we have our popular degrees such as our business administration program, which is also one of those online degrees. And then we also list some of our more unique programs like our entertainment industry and technology degree. And then I've also just included exactly which degrees are available online for students. One program that we offer that I think is really great if you're coming from a technical degree background is our operations management program because we're able to use up to 46 credit hours of a technical degree towards your overall 120 credits for a bachelor's degree, which is really unique and it is a bachelor's of science degree versus like applied science. So that's a really awesome degree program. And we're actually hosting an event this evening for transfer students where our faculty will be available to chat about the operations management, project management, global supply chain management, and our construction management degrees. So really all of our degrees within our professional management department. Um, so I've just included the link on this slide. If you're interested in registering, you can do that before the event starts and then you'll get that link for the Zoom meeting so you can meet with the faculty to talk about that or if it's easier you can feel free to email me and I'll include both of those um, pieces in the chat. Um, really scaled down our presentation so I don't have all of the information about MSUM but if you have any questions you can always feel free to reach out. Thank you Audrey and I know that some of the faculty shared your event for tonight. So. Oh great that's awesome great. to hear. Yeah. next. I'm happy to go next, Jessica. I can share my screen. Okay, so uh, my name is Bonner Carger from Bemidji State University, and Bemidji is a town of about 14,000 in north central Minnesota, um, and we are very proud of our location. Uh, the campus is built 
uh, right on Lake Bemidji, as you can see in the slide here. Uh, and we um, are proud of our commitment to environmental stewardship and the culture of Minnesota and uh, the cultures that students bring with them to our area as well. So uh, if nothing else, I invite uh, students interested in a bachelor's degree uh, and beyond to come visit BSU. Come check out the campus. Uh, it looks different in every season. There's something for everyone here. Uh, whether it's Division I hockey that might bring you to Bemidji uh, or um, our great liberal arts programs. Uh, we are known for a, we are known as a teacher school. Uh, we're more than 100 years uh, old now and we are, um, have a long history of turning out great teachers in Minnesota and beyond. Um, we also have very uh, uh, accessible programs. Um, 13 majors of ours are offered online. Uh, everything from business and accounting to uh, applied engineering and applied management to make good use of those technical credits and transfer. Uh, and some very unique programs online like psychology and sociology. Um, in addition to those, those majors being offered on campus uh, and some unique programs like exhibit design, uh, something from our school of uh, technology, art and design that you're not gonna find um, elsewhere in Minnesota. Very few programs in the country actually. Uh, and so I encourage you to come take a visit, uh, take a tour of BSU, uh, check out some of the online options we have for tours. Of course, right now with, with limited travel, limited in-person connections, uh, we do have some virtual options and some video tours that you can just sit back and watch. Uh, and um, coming up, actually we're right in the middle of them right now are what we're calling virtual departmental visits. So there is a list and I'll provide a link on, on one of the next slides. Um, where you can sign up for a, a department or major specific uh, Zoom session. And we have faculty from each of those departments that will be presenting and they are offering plenty of time for Q&A as well. So if you have questions about a specific major and want to talk right to the best resource uh, without sort of going through all the channels, um, I encourage you to sign up for one or more of those. Uh, and uh, right now, like, like most Minnesota institutions, we are offering a free application through the end of uh, October. So it will cost you nothing to apply from that standpoint. And if you are transferring only from Minnesota State Colleges like DCTC, uh, we'll be able to access your official transcripts electronically. So it's about as uh, easy as it gets to apply and get the process started on a transfer evaluation. And uh, we are right now doing about a one week turnaround on transfer evals, um, typically faster than that. So even if you're just uh, seeing what's, what transfers at this point, um, getting an idea of how much more work you might have for a bachelor's degree, I encourage you to apply. There's really no reason not to. Um, it isn't like checking your credit score where you get dinged a little bit each time you apply. <laughs> so, so don't worry about that. Um, and then, you know, just action items, uh, things that you can do here in the next couple of weeks as you're planning your spring semester and finishing up at DCTC is again, register for an upcoming virtual department visit, uh, bemidjistate.edu slash visit, uh, apply for free. And then I do encourage you to connect with a transfer advisor at BSU. So you do have a team of people here available to you. Uh, we don't really break up our duties based on majors. Um, although some of us work more with online students, some with on-campus students. Um, and then if you're coming in on a transfer pathway uh, or a transfer articulation agreement, um, there might be a specific advisor we could get you in touch with uh, for questions related to that as well. So. We have plenty of help available. Um, all of our contact information is available on the transfer website. Most of us are working remotely, although we do have some office hours, um, but we're happy to connect with students um, on evenings and weekends as well uh, via Zoom or phone, if that works better for your schedule. So um, again, schedule a visit with BSU. We know that when students come to visit, they want to be here and be a student here. So encourage you to do that. And I think that's probably it. I'll hand it over to the next person. Thank you. Great, thank you. I know it's a lovely campus. I've been through there. <laughs> Stopped in. No. Oh. Right. Go ahead. No, you're okay. fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see. There we go.
Is that sharing? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so hello, my name is Danielle Wise. I am the newest member of the transfer team at Winona State University. I already put my contact information in the chat. My pinky finger got a little ahead of itself. I had it all queued up and then accidentally hit enter, so it's in there. Um, so Winona State University is located right in the center of Winona. Winona as a town has about 30,000 people. We're right on that little island between Minnesota and Wisconsin, so it's gorgeous and a lot of fun to visit um, when we're able to visit, but even during this time, it's kind of nice to get out. There's plenty of hiking and kayaking and we're surrounded by water, so there's lots of stuff to do all the time. We are a medium university. We like to say medium because we're not big, but we're not little. We're right in that sweet middle spot. We have about 8,000 students total. The majority of our students are undergraduate students, but we do have some students pursuing a uh, graduate degree as well so you can pursue further education here we have just over 80 major and program opportunities to choose from for division two for athletics and we have over 180 different student organizations to get involved in on campus um, we have been pretty highly ranked for a long time. Uh, we have the number one student success rate in the system for both students of color and students overall. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we've been educating longer than most. We were founded in 1858. So we're the oldest member of the Minnesota state system, which is kind of exciting too. And um, our focus on teaching undergraduate students has gained incredible regional and national recognition. So um, you can see here our faculty are really involved. Most of our faculty members do act as faculty advisors. So students get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with faculty members, which they usually enjoy quite a bit. And we have some nice small class sizes, 27 class average. So you don't get too lost in the shuffle. Um, there are five different colleges that make up Winona State University. So those 80 plus major and program opportunities are organized within those five colleges. Um, College of Business, College of Education, our College of Liberal Arts, the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, and then the College of Science and Engineering. We also offer pre-professional programs. So if you were interested in getting any more information about those colleges or programs, feel free to email myself. Like I said, my contact information is listed in the chat. Our uh, admission standards, we have automatic admission standards, uh, 24 transferable credits with a 2.4 GPA or higher. And like most Min State universities right now for the month of October, applications are free, which is awesome. You, Winona State is pretty affordable, tuition and fees, technology program, housing and meal plan are all listed here. So the total with housing and meal plan ends up being almost 19,000 for the year for residents. So we encourage students to hop online, check out our visits page and check out what we have available for virtual options right now. And we are doing some on campus tours Monday, Wednesday and Friday right now as well. And that is all I have. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you. Okay. Now I apologize, I'm not very good at Zoom. So I'll have to, how do you get out of sharing? For some reason I was having some echo. I'm still having echo. <laughs> That's different. Um, but yeah, lovely area, Winona. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. All right, we can go next. I'll share my screen here. All right, so I'm joined here today with one of my colleagues, Sylvia. Um, my name is Jackie Garcia. I work with our traditional on campus programs here. Um, I have I've been at Concordia for I think a little over three years now, um, but we have a set of counselors that work with our on campus programs and then a set of other counselors that work with our online programs. Um, and I'll let you Sylvia if you want to introduce yourself quick. 
Absolutely. Thank you. So um, this is very exciting. Hello, all DCTC students. Hello, Jessica and Mar Marky. I had a privilege of chatting with you. Um, so I have been a part of the Concordia University St. Paul family since uh, May of 2018. So I believe about two and a half years. Um, and it has been amazing. And I do work with specifically the online programs. Thank you. So just a little bit about Concordia University. So we're located in St. Paul, Minnesota, um, where you were founded in 1893. So we've been around for a really long time. We were founded by the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Um, so our, our university does we have two theology requirements with the religion component here. We have over 5,000 total students. So about 1,700 of these are traditional on-campus students. The rest um, make up our online undergraduate and graduate programs too. So a lot of our programs are very flexible where you can do half online or on-campus. Um, one unique thing about us too is that you can create your own major. So if there was a couple different majors that you were interested in, you could actually um, combine the two to make your own bachelor's degree. That's actually how we got some of our programs like international business was just some of our students liked the um, international business minor and then they switched or they put that together with our business management. Um, so that's a little bit about our history our transfer process is pretty simple as well. Um, just like everyone else, we accept the AA degree in the Minnesota transfer curriculum to come in. We also accept individual goal areas to meet our general education requirements. And our application is free. So um, you, we could do it right online. You just create an account and it takes about 15 minutes or so. After you've submitted your application, you would then um, request your transcripts to be sent to Concordia. And right now with COVID, we're accepting unofficial transcripts as well. So either official or unofficial will work to complete your application. After that point, you then receive a credit evaluation. Um, from here, we'll be able to show you exactly how long it would take for you to complete your degree and connect you with an academic advisor right away so that you can figure out whether Concordia will work for you or not. Um, we do also accept a maximum of 90 credits. So 90 credits is huge. Um, it's a big selling point for us, but we do, whether it'll be mostly going towards elective, your major or your generals, we accept all of it. I always tell students also, which I'm sure others can agree, just to keep any course descriptions or syllabus that you have um, so that we can further review your classes, especially if they're major specific. And feel free, Sylvia, if you have anything to add to do so. You're doing great so far, just, yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> All right, so specifically, we kind of wanted to break it up just to show you the differences with our on-campus programs and online, just as far as the cost is that can be confusing in the scholarships. Um, our on-campus programs, their tuition is about 23,900 for the next academic school year. Um, if you wanted to live on campus, that would be an additional 9,000. However, transfers are not required to live on campus. But if so, this would be um, the total for the cost. And from there, um, we would then have our transfer scholarships here on the right hand side. I'm just I realized the total is not added up correctly on here for some reason. Well, that's not the right total. <laughs> um, I just realized that I don't know why that how that happened. Um, but anyways, the transfer scholarships that we also have available. So once we review your application, we're going to be looking at your college transcript. Um, we're going to look at what your cumulative GPA is. So if you went to more than one college, we're going to look at all of them and figure out what the average GPA would be. And then from here, these are our next school year scholarships. So you'll be able to see what you automatically would be awarded. So as long as you have a 2.0 cumulative GPA, you would get a scholarship for our on-campus programs. Um, a couple other ones in the other section that we have listed here. Transfer Advantage. So if you have completed the Minnesota Transfer Curriculum, an AA degree or an AS degree, um, any of those degrees, we want to honor that. And we work closely with DCTC and other partnered community colleges um, to be able to provide this. 
Additionally, we have Phi Theta Kappa. So if you're in that honor society, um, we would just need to see that on your transcript and we also award another thousand for that. Same with um, Concordia Legacy, Lutheran Heritage. If you have any family members that currently attend Concordia or previously attended, um, you would get the Legacy Scholarship. And then as well, if you go to an LCMS congregation, um, you would get another thousand. And same with music and theater if you have interest in those. Um, and these are all stackable. So you're able to um, get the academic scholarship as well as any other ones for on-campus programs. And then I added up the figures and it'd be 33,000, so. Yes, you're correct. Yes, 33,000. I don't know why that happened. Sorry about that. <laughs> So our online programs, I'll let Sylvia take this over. Sure. Um, so our um, online programs are, uh, like she was saying, just they're built a little bit different. Our credits a little bit different. Um, we It is $420 per credit in order if you're looking at one of our online programs. Our programs run anywhere between 36 to 44 credits. We have 17 100% online programs. Um, you're never required to come to campus. However, you're always encouraged and invited to, but never required to. Um, as Jackie was talking about, we have a $2,000 Transfer Advantage Scholarship. So for every DCTC graduate, we automatically apply that $2,000 to your financial aid package. When you apply for admission, um, it is automatically um, added. Again, you do have to be a graduate, um, but we know that you're on your way. So um, that's exciting. And then something else that we offer um, for online students as a success coach. And so this individual will be uh, just as awesome as Marky and they will connect with you. Um, what we've heard is, uh, you know, so let's say I'm a student and I'm doing great. My success coach would call me and say, Sylvia, you're doing awesome. Keep it up. How's it going? You know, anything that you need from me? And they reach out at least once or twice a semester, which from students, they're like, oh my gosh, they actually reached out to me and maybe I didn't call them back, but just knowing that they were there and that they knew who I was, was exciting. Um, on the other end, they may call me and say, Sylvia, your grades are not the best. What's going on? And so that's another opportunity for our students to share what's going on in their lives and for us to be able to accommodate them at the best that we can in regards to their education and to still be successful as a student. Thank you. Yes, Concordia is a beautiful campus too. Yeah, so we have our contact information here and then we'll be sure to also add it to the chat. But we are currently offering virtual visits and on-campus visits and campus tours every day. Um, so feel free to check out our website and I'll link that too um, if you'd like to schedule a visit. We have a couple, we have an information session this afternoon, just kind of more information about Concordia and then we'll have another one in November too. So I'll link those, but thank you for your time and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Great. Did we finish with everybody? Wow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yes. So lots of stories um, that we could give about students and alumni who have gone on to these colleges and universities, or sorry, these universities, but um, we won't do that right now. But yes, I'll introduce um, Marky here is our academic advisor for a lot of our students that are in the individualized studies area in particular and working with our athletes. And I'm Jessica and I'm with the Career and Transfer Resource Center. And let me share our page here so that you know where to find us us here at the college. So if you're on our main dctc.edu website, you can always put into the search bar career and transfer. If you put just career even, you probably will get here easily. We have a new Facebook page. So there it is. Please follow us and you'll learn more about the opportunities in transfer that are current as we go through the rest of the semester and into future years. We have our transfer resources here for those that are in our college as students and going to be 
transferring on, not coming into the college, that's a different site, which I'll show you at the bottom of the page, our alumni too are able to access the center for free services. We have a transfer checklist and worksheet that you might find helpful. You click on it and I'll blow this up a little bit. So the transfer planning checklist and worksheet sheet is designed to kind of give you a flow on how we can help you with your next steps. Start the process by contacting the Career and Transfer Resource Center. I'm Jessica again. You can contact career services at dctc.edu, which very prominently is displayed on our website all over. <laughs> then make an appointment for learning about and discussing some degree options, looking at transfer schools, particular careers, occupations, majors. We can explore those for the different colleges and universities. Then we have transfer fairs at town times and talks with representatives like today. We also have some few resources just here that we really encourage that you contact the colleges and universities to at least um, connect virtually and even to possibly go on campus just so that you're more aware of all the resources that they would have even if you plan to attend virtually. And then prioritize your schools, see the reverse side to complete the worksheet and I'll show you this right here. We have the transfer college worksheet that is helping you look at school information, if it's transfer friendly, the admissions process, and funding your college. And then I'm going to hand it off here to Marky, who will talk about the academic and financial aid advisor and about transferring. All right, as Jessica said, I'm Marky. Um, so I am typically in the enrollment services office um, right now working from home, um, but I work with all transfer students or most all of transfer students on campus. Um, naturally, uh, I will have a conversation with you on transfer um, in either your second to last um, advising appointment or your last advising appointment as we're looking to register for um, typically spring semester or if you're grabbing some summer classes to, to finish out your degree. Um, we can, just as Jessica shared, um, work through this, uh, this checklist um, and I can assist with making connections with colleges, um, but typically that first step is to um, do a visit. Um, and a lot of schools, as, as you all shared, are doing virtual visits. So it's nice and easy. Um, and then we'll kind of continue to work through the process of exploring, um, you know, important items on your checklist um, to make those connections to apply, to do a credit evaluation, so on and so forth. Yes. And requesting a transcript has the link right here. And let me take you back to our regular page. Um, so here's some contact information and of course I'll help you with getting in contact with Marky and or your other advisor if you specifically wanted to work with your program one and of course faculty are very happy as advisors too to assist you in this process. There's a transfer action plan from Minnesota State Colleges and Universities site, which might be of help. Additional transfer resources here for transferology, minnesotatransfer.org, and so on. And then transferring into DCTC. I left that information on this page for those that are incoming students. So thank you very much. Um, anything else you believe we should cover? No, I think that sums it up pretty well. Great. Well, we're going to conclude our uh, recording here and let you all um, take advantage of all the resources that are out there on Mon uh, sorry, Tuesday, which was October 20th. If you check your inbox, you received an all student email blast, which had um, all of the different universities here featured as well as some others for contact information, their virtual tours, different virtual one-on-ones, et cetera. So how to get hold of them for campus visits and tours, all sorts of information. In the chat, you will find all the contact information for the universities here. Thank you. All right, and so um, as far as that, I've stopped the recording. <laughs>